Well, we're getting ready to go on the bay somewhere. Me and uh, Mumbles, man. I got uh, something I want to share with you right there. Hold on a minute. You know the sand cuts the coating off of these uh, shafts, lower shafts for the CTXs. And in the past, some have used clear packing tape, which I did. But you can see that in places, the tape is wearing off. So I've got some new stuff on here called rubber coating. The Mumbles man has been using it for about two or three weeks. And it seems to work really good. I got to put one coat on the other day and another coat on today. We'll give it a spin for a couple of days, see how it works. But initially it worked okay with the one coat. I'm putting the uh, stock coil, factory coil back on today, taking that big foot off. Well, you can see it's already off, but. And then I'm going to head over to the Mumbles man's house. Stand by. Oh. Great Matter City. We was here about three weeks ago. We didn't do much. We're going to try it for about an hour. And we're going somewhere else. If it doesn't, we don't see much results. Stand by. Well, the beach is nice and flat. Not many depositors, but one right there. And a fine depositor it is. I think she's the same one we saw the last time we were here. She must live here or something. Stand by. I think you were here last time I was here. You've been here all week. <laughs> How you doing? I'll let you know in about an hour. See you later. Well, the first target is a strong 12, 15. I don't know if it's a nickel or not, but I tell you one thing, boy, it is a nice sound. This is four inches deep. It's still in there too. Now that says it's 16, 10, 16, and 6 in deep. What the hell is going on here? Come out of there, you taquito. Uh oh, I don't like it now. It's jumping around a lot. Must be a ball cap. I hear something rattling. Yep, I knew that's what it was. Corona. Damn, I got the screen big enough. That taquito got me excited a minute ago. My blood pressure went up. Now we got a 12, 14. And five inches. Not on the first scoop. Come out of there, baby. I hear it rattling. Oh, we're getting better. Bud Light this time. You turkey. God. I think I just got hit by a stingray. Right to the left hand side of my foot. I can't show it to you, but you see the blood. I'm squeezing the blood out of it now. A really sharp, fast pain. Like a bee sting. I mean, it's not over painful, it's just like a throb. It's been such a long time since I had a bee sting, I don't know what a bee sting would be like. Let him 
see it's just up behind my foot there, ways. Just, I don't know. I don't look. I like it. Stand by. I've seen four or five stingrays a day. We always see some sometimes, but they usually take right off before you get close to them. They get, they can feel you coming or something. They take right off. But maybe I just captured this one, stepped on his tail or something. That's the only thing it could have been. It wasn't crab. Well, I'm back from the stock in the box. He uh, soaked it in some hot water and some kind of germ stuff he put in the water. And he probed around in there with a probe and gave me a shot of Novocaine. And he said he found a little, he showed me a little teeny piece of what he thinks is a barb. A little teeny tiny piece. And uh, gave me some antibiotics. It says stay out of the water for a few days. I'll have to get me a boot, I guess. Where's the drug of that? Did I put them up already? Stand by. Now here it is. Whatever the hell that is. The drug it says is a cousin to penicillin. Gotta take that for four or five days. Well, other than that, it ain't too bad. But I can tell you one thing. It was instant pain for a short period of time. And then it throbbed and ached and throbbed and ached and throbbed and ached and then it went away. Right now, if I didn't see the bandage and only a minute sensation, I would have never known it had happened. Anyway, I got some a call from a lady. She had some knives. Come on, can you sharpen my knives? I got a, a whole thing of Chicago cutleries and two cut codes. So I'll have something to do tomorrow. And what have I got to do on Wednesday? Something else on Wednesday? What is it? Oh, I got to take my damn. Uh, where's that piece of crap at anyway? My mini iPad's been acting up like it's got a ghost inside of it. It jumps all around, jumps, does everything, but apparently that's a common factor to some of them. And then Thursday, I got the knife gig in the afternoon. I'm pretty well tied up. So it might work out okay from, from that standpoint. We'll have to see how it goes. Big Jack's waiting patiently for me to come outside. It's that time of day. <laughs> Okay, I'll get back to you. Doing a rancho. Well, ain't no roundup because I only found four bottle caps and a piece of aluminum. And I don't think the ring man found anything else either because we were, you know, we left together. He, he might have found one more bottle cap than me. It was a bottle cap kind of day. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow because I know I got to t drop these knives off with a lady. I was going to cut my son's grass. That depends on how my foot feels in the morning. Okay, I'll see you later.